The Second Northern War, also known as the Great Northern War, was a military confrontation between Sweden and its neighbors Denmark, Norway and Saxony, Poland, 1721. The conflict resulted in the decline of Swedish influence and the rise of Russia as a major force in Northern Europe. Sweden's expansion in the Baltic Sea coastlands during the 16th and 17th centuries had angered the neighboring countries. Sweden's access to the Baltic was interrupted by Swedish-controlled Karelia, Ingria, Estonia, and Livonia. Denmark Norway was anxious over Sweden's association with the Ducal House of Holstein Gottorp, which excluded Denmark from the south and prevented the Danish crown's reabsorption of Schleswig duchies. Sweden's prominence in the Holy Roman Empire worried them. Brandenburg in particular coveted Swedish power. The fact that several magnates of the Polish People's Republic still considered Swedish Livonia to be Polish by right was due to geopolitical factors. When his son, Charles XII, was still a teenager in 1697, King Charles XI of Denmark-Norway resolved to join forces with the anti-Swedish coalition. Augustus II the Strong, King of Poland and Elector of Saxony, attacked Livonia, October 1700, while Frederick IV, King of Denmark and Norway, advanced into Livonia. He lured Frederick into withdrawing from the anti-Swedish alliance and signing the Treaty of Traventhal, August 1700, which restored the prior situation. Next, Charles confronted the Russians and emerged victorious at Narva, November 30, 1700. He next turned his attention to the Poles and Saxons, seizing Courland and forcing Augustus to flee into Poland. Charles was resolved to depose Augustus, thus he spent six years battling him, only after the Swedes invaded Saxony. Did Augustus agree to give up his Polish crown and to break his Russian alliance? Treaty of Altranstadt, September 1706. Meanwhile, the Russians under Peter the Great used this time to reorganize their army and establish themselves on the Baltic coast. Peter had built St. Petersburg and Kronstadt, the naval port, in 1703. When Charles renewed his assault on Russia, late 1707, Peter drove his auxiliary force from Lesnaya, October 1708, and then decisively routed the main Swedish army at Poltava, July 8, 1709. See Poltava, Battle of. After fleeing to Turkey, Charles persuaded the Turks to enter into a war with Russia, 1710. The Turks, pleased with a negotiated peace that gave them control of Azov, withdrew from the war following their victory at the Pruth River, 1711. Meanwhile, after the Battle of Poltava, an anti-Swedish alliance had reassembled. In 1713 it routed, at Tenning in Holstein. The Swedish army that had been recruited in 1712 to defend those areas. In 1714, the Russians beat the Swedish navy at Hange, Hanko, seizing the Åland Islands and threatening Stockholm. Charles returned to Sweden's soil in November 1714. By now, most of Sweden's territories along the Baltic coast had been taken or menaced by the anti-Swedish alliance. In December 1715, Charles retumed to southern Sweden proper and began organizing his country for a new phase of war. He opened peace negotiations in 1717, even though he was building his army to 60,000 men for an anticipated new assault. In September 1718, Charles invaded southeastern Norway, but he died at the Siege of Frederikshald in November 1718. Charles had no children, so when he died, his only surviving sister, Ulrika Eleonora, became the queen. Her husband, Frederick of Hesse Castle. Frederick I of Sweden, helped her to negotiate a series of peace settlements in 1719-21. The Treaties of Stockholm, 1719-20, resulted in a return to the status quo. Sweden gave back its conquests to Denmark in return for a sum of money. Sweden ceded Bremen to Hanover and gave up Stettin, Sezessen, and part of Swedish Pomerania to Prussia by the Treaty of Nystad, September 10, 1721. This treaty also resulted in Sweden ceding Ingria, Estonia, Livonia, and a strip of Finnish Karelia to Russia.